And welcome back to our playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution. Um, been away for a couple of days, so I haven't actually been able to do much in the way of live streams. Uh, but when I logged in uh, earlier, I got a nice surprise. We have the new DLC from the Lost Kingdom, which has given us a few more dinosaurs uh, to play with. It's also given us um, some hotfixes. <coughs> so I'm looking forward to trying these all out. Uh, where were we before? We'd pretty much got five stars. Well, not pretty much. We did get five stars on this island. Um, so we have unlocked the woodland uh, cosmetic feature for the dinosaurs, which we'll be trying out later. Um, <clears throat> the last things we've got to do are to complete the science quests, and then we can move on to the final island. Uh, but we talk about the new dinosaurs so if we go into the fossil research we have the stygimoloch or stygimoloch uh, which i'm going to start researching now uh, that's one of five new dinosaurs that came as part of the fallen kingdom dlc uh, so it's a uh, nice for a game to just release dlc free especially when it's additional dinosaurs so uh, quite pleased with that um, so we've only got two left dinosaurs left from our uh, normal and deluxe pack, so that's the Mamenchiosaurus and the Mayongosaurus. Oops, sorry, we've got a disease, so let's go and fix up. Who's diseased? Ah, Maple, one of our dippies is diseased, so we'll send our rangers out before they spread it around. Fortunately, the Blodrixus can't actually move that fast, so hopefully it won't infect too many people before the rangers get there. Um, what else we got? So, oops, wrong button. So yes, the goal for this island is to finish the science quests, get all the unlocks for them. Uh, as you can see, we've got three unlocks that still need to be done, uh, including the main mission. So we'll get working on that by grabbing a contract. Oh, uh, prefer yeah. For this contract. So we'll prevent some power outages, hopefully won't get any sabotage. And we'll also get a contract you from the science power? division. Think of me. Cabot Finch. Reliable, dependable, and not at all full of himself. <laughs> Though he should be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say about that guy. I've got something for you, if you're interested. Um I will say that the, 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 the again, a, a criticism is there does seem to be a lot, and I do mean a lot, of interruptions from these voiceovers. Um, and for the most part, you can ignore them, except when you're trying to talk. Um, and yeah, then it gets a little bit irritating. Uh, oh, another dinosaur's got diseased. Who else has got disease? <gasps> One of my Styracosaurus. All right, where's those rangers? Uh, there they are. It's got rabies. Okay. Dinosaur frothing at the mouth. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Add task. And we'll just get you medicated. And we've got a storm incoming. So let's open up the emergency shelters. Whew. It doesn't rain. It pours. Literally in this case. Oh, and another one's gone. One of my Taurosaurus. So where's that ranger? Uh, add a task. Adding task. Uh, frozen up a bit. Oh, there we go. I just hope we don't get a tornado. Which means we'll get a tornado now, I've said that. Strong winds. Is there a thunderstorm? Yep. So that means there's a tornado incoming. Alright, let's open up our rangers and get ranger team 2. What's damaged? Right, we're all good there. All good there. Huh. Fence is broken. Oh, that always worries me. Uh, Alright. Restaurant there. And we'll get another ranger team. Uh, ranger team 2. You need to go up there and that and oh, okay so the fence is actually broken in the back area so not the end of the world not great either but we'll get the repair teams through 
hot knife through butter. I have to say these tornadoes do add a little bit of interest to the game. Um, a little bit more interest, I should qualify. Um, because there is, there is no way on earth you can protect against those. They just plow through everything. Right, we've got dinosaur threat. Uh, Peach is going a bit nuts. That's fine. I'm not going to deploy the helicopter at the moment. Um, worryingly though, I think I just lost a load of power. So let's see where our rangers are. Uh, right, Ranger Team 3 is on its way. So what I may do, in fact what I will do, is as he gets up here, I shall drive the vehicle. Um, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Damn building, who put that there? I thought it was me. And there's a dinosaur. There's several dinosaurs. Uh, yeah. As you can see, driving isn't necessarily my strength area. Um, Alright, repair that. Um, we've got any substations that need repairing. Uh, oh, I'm glad the weather's repairing to, uh, returning to normal. A bit late now, though. Right, substation is repaired. Okay. Uh, let's get Ranger Team... Which one are you? Ranger Team 3. Right, you're going back to repair the fence. Great. Uh, meanwhile, get another Ranger Team to repair this fence. As I should say, the dirty great big hole. Uh, right, they're going to repair those. Uh, anyone else worrying about? That's worrying about. No, all the carnivores are good. So it's just going to be a case of rounding up any stray dinosaurs, like the Styracosaurus there. Let's get the ACU in to tranquilize it, and then we can move it back into the enclosure. The Pachycephalosauruses all seem okay great well that was a bit of fun uh, what else have we got uh, fossil teams I forgot about my fossil teams so I have some new dig sites again um, for as a part of the Lost Kingdom stuff so the Suchiomimus and the Kentrosaurus um, uh, sorry I stand corrected they're not part of the um, Lost Kingdom, they're actually part of, sorry, Fallen Kingdom, they're part of getting the quest complete. Over here, though, are some new ones. So, I've got all my dig teams out, uh, we'll get them sorted. Uh, my teams are repairing the fences, which is great. And we've just got this Styracosaurus, if we can get them back into its enclosure, we can get the uh, shelters open. Uh, I think we've got a lot more repairs to do, so... Alright, let's Dyracosaurus back in the cage. Alright, let's get our ranger teams. Let's just select one. Go to add task. And see if there's anything that needs repairing. Uh, the arcade needs repairing. That's okay. Monorail... Oh, substation 4 needs repairing as well. So we'll get those repaired and we should be then back to normal so let's just double check because I've done this before and got everything repaired and opened up the park and realized I had some dinosaurs running around free didn't go down too well okay that dinosaur's being relocated back to its pen so we'll close all the shelters up yes apologies for the tornado that tore through everything and allowed the dinosaurs to run free sorry can't promise it won't happen again, no. Right, so our T-Rex, for some very bizarre reason, has decided just to attack the fence. Not sure why. Um, maybe as a result of the storm. Kinda glad they're concrete electric fences, because otherwise uh, he'd be straight through them. Right, Sookie Momus. 
Tsukiomimus, Kentrosaurus, Kentrosaurus, Tsukiomimus again, Tsukiomimus, and I'll sell that off. I haven't got any more extraction slots, so I'll have to wait for those to finish. Um, I've also got a fossil team waiting to go back out, but it can't actually drop its fossils off because I don't have any space. Um, can upgrade the fossil center with inventory space and extraction speed. I think I actually dropped those in. And I regret that the second I did it because I don't have enough power. Uh, my guests feel unsafe. Well, that's a shame. I feel unsafe. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if you're gunning for my job. But with numbers like yours, you deserve it. I thank you. I need, believe I deserve it. All right, power. I need some more power. Uh, ooh, I'll put a power station in there. Connect it up to the substation around here somewhere. I think so. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Perfect. And we'll connect the path up. Is that done? Great. Uh, and hopefully that should solve my power problems. We've still got to get our profit per minute to $600,000. Um, it's interesting this doesn't count as a power outage. Not sure why. I think it must be just because you've upped the power and you don't have any power outage protection. But uh, yeah, we'll wait for our large power station to come online. And then we'll whack in a couple of more upgrades into the fossil center. And then, all being well, we can get some more fossil research done. Uh, we can work on our science quests. And then we can move to the final island, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, from the description, it mentioned that uh, it's basically a human enclosure surrounded by dinosaurs. So that can make it quite fun. Uh, I'm not sure how it will pan out, but we'll be good to see um, how that all works out. Uh, yeah, I have to say I have been thoroughly enjoying this game. Uh, it's... Uh, been well put together. Whoops, dead dinosaur. Who is it? Nora's dead. Oh no. Alright, get her out of there. Acknowledging asset collection request. Boo. Let's get another raptor in there. Oh, uh, where are you? Velociraptor, Velociraptor. Velociraptor, there you are. Uh, you've got a 105% chance in a rating of 106, so get that all set up my large power stations on so that's great Opportunity is knocking. perform a successful expedition to the Tendaguru formation well I do have fossil teams ready to go so let's get those upgrades in now that my power, uh, power situation I seem to have someone else's teeth in today um, has been sorted so, view fossils, let's get the last of these extracted. Kentrosaurus, Kentrosaurus, the Stigamoloc, and the Stigamoloc, and sell that. Right. Where do we need to go? We need to go to the Tendaguru formation. Okay. So, Tendaguru, where would that be? Sounds like it will be on the Asian continent. Uh, Uzbekistan, oh sorry, I read the wrong one. Uh, Besekati, Nemeget, Erendabsu, Uliganzi, Lower Lufang, the Takama Beds, ah, the Tendaguru Formation, perfect. I'm going to send one to the Takama Beds as well. And one to Hell Creek Formation. Let's see how we're getting on. Great. Well, our extractions are going nicely. The other thing I want to do is to see what upgrades we've got for the expedition center, if any. Uh, we have a dig speed upgrade and a dig yield upgrade. Hmm. That sounds like a good one. Let's dig speed do. Dig speed by 10% across. I think we'll go with dig yield. 
We might need great rush, but if we get any bonus cash from these uh, expedition digs, that sounds like a good thing for me. Let's just make sure our power's okay. We've got 91 available power, so we've got plenty of opportunities to expand, which is brilliant. Uh, right, let's check our ratings. So, five stars for that, and four and... I'm going to go with three quarters uh, for our dinosaur rating. So I want to get another raptor out. And that is 74% complete. Uh, so hopefully that will increase our minute money. Uh, right, so there's plenty of people in the arcade at the moment. I don't really, it's not maxed out, so I don't need to increase the staff. Whereas I do in the restaurant. So let's up that to three. That gives me 800 capacity and immediately jumps up to 500 guests, which means they can make more money for me, which is brilliant. And the clothes shop, how are we doing on that? Again, I need to up that to three. Uh, that's 800 there. Now I thought I heard something go bang. Is that my T-Rex? No, nope, it wasn't. Good. All right, let's check the other facilities out. Oh, there's a toy shop here. I forgot about that. Let's see what we're doing here. Again, don't really need to up that. There's only 160 people in it. All right, another science quest just been done. I'll wait for that to pop up. Then we'll go and have a look at our fossils. Meanwhile, we'll check the arcade. Yep, we're good there. Restaurant, good there. Clothes shop, are we good here? We're good here as well. So, just verify everything's okay. Everyone's happy. Yep, yep. So, let's check out our dinosaurs. Another Kentrosaurus. Uh, sell the gold, I like gold. A Stygimaloc. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Succiomimus. Fish fossils and platinum. So we'll send our teams out again. Hell Creek. Tagama beds and tender guru formations. That's all our teams out. Just make sure there's no more research to be done. All right, we're all good on the research. So, oh, interesting. So there's actually um, unlocks on the other islands. So basically, I've unlocked this one, but I need to do a, looks like a entertainment quest on Isla Matanceros, which is the first island. Uh, it looks like a security quest on Isla Morata, which is the second island. Uh, Isla Pena. Um, there is a science quest. Um, well, I'm on this one. I don't know. I have to check. And Isla Sauna. Again, another science quest. That's interesting, that. Uh, and yes... We're on Isla Pena. So that's the new unlock. Okay, so it does mean that we're going to have to go back a few islands. Um, I'll probably do that after we finish the, fir uh, the final island. Um, I think it would be a bit dull to just go all the way back just to do a few more quests uh, when we're not really going to get a great deal out of it. So, uh, let's get ourselves another science contract. And what we got? An opportunity has presented itself. Use the expedition center to unearth a small or medium herbivore uh, fossil. Well, that's quite awesome because I actually have dig teams out at the moment. So hopefully, uh, one of those dig teams will bring back a small or medium herbivore vessel, which should then unlock my quest. I forgot to release the new Nora. Oh. Just as the raptor comes out, the T-Rex pops around the corner. It's not exactly the uh, most welcome uh, introduction to the world, is it? Yes, this is exactly what we right, need. run, my little friend. Run, run. And Nora the second. All right, go to my fossils. Ooh, ooh in 
transmission incoming. Our science mission, what we got? One of our most important tasks here in the science division is keeping a diverse and lively selection of dinosaur specimens available for the parks. You can be of help to us here in this regard. So consider this an offer. Okay, so our mission is to incubate and release with 85% genome uh, a Metricanthosaurus, a uh, Dino. D D D D D yeah, one of them, a Ch uh, Chasmosaurus times two, and a Gallimimus times four. Okay, uh, so let's go and extract some DNA. Great. As uh, some of our specimens break down into herbivores and carnivores. The herbivores tend to be more docile and passive. The carnivores, not so much. Our goal is to get them isolated and into their own enclosures. Okay, so this could be problematic. First step, we need to hatch our new dinosaurs and separate them. Of course, it should be easy enough to tell them apart. Here's a helpful tip. The ones trying to bite off your hand, not vegan. Well, I don't know. It could be really aggressive vegans. Okay. More fossils coming, so let's just extract the DNA for that one, and we'll send our teams out again. Perfect. Okay, so incubate and release with eighty-five percent genome. That lot. Hmm. Interesting. So I know that uh, certain dinosaurs don't play well. Uh, for instance, the Metricanthosaurus uh, doesn't play well with... Actually, the Metricanthosaurus doesn't play well with the T-Rex. So, any of the Alpha Predators just don't play well. Uh, the Dionychus do not play well with the Raptors. Uh, that was from an earlier mission. The feeder needs resupply. Okay, so we'll send our agents in to do that. Acknowledging request for feeder resupply. Okay, we'll get those done. Uh, the Chasmosaurus, two of them, and the Gallimimus, four of them. So, we could create four Gallimimus. Uh, incubate dinosaurs, Gallimimus, where are you? Uh, G, there we go. So, we'll get the Gallimimus going. Uh, and incubate. Perfect. Because I do have an enclosure up here, uh, which has got my Pachycephalosaurus in there. Um... They, from terms of population, do not like more than 10, and there's three of them. So we can put four in there, and they'll be happy. The Chasmosaurus. Now, Chasmosaurus, I think, let me just check the genome library. Chasmosaurus, where are you? C for Chasma. There you are. Uh, it's a Ceratops. So, again, we can drop a couple in there, and they should just be able to sit quite nicely in there. Uh, hopefully, if I remember correctly. It's the Metricanthosaurus and the Dinochus. Uh, so, fossil team are back. So, let's just give a quick check on those. Uh, Succimimus, Succimimus, Stimlug, whatever. Uh, Platinum, Kentro, we well, can't do anything because I don't actually have any extraction slots. Perfect though. Right, so our Gallimimus are currently in the incubators and ready to go. So release you. Ah, have a new viable genome, the Stigum, that one I can't pronounce. That's one out and release the next one. Right, let's just check out a Gallimimus. Uh, where are you? There you are. Alright, you finished doing your... Right. So the Gallimimus, population, social, all good. So I don't have to worry about you too much. Right, so let's get another couple of Gallimimus out. And incubate you. And incubate you. So, all good there. Right. Uh, where else have we got? Uh, one second. Uh, 
just check something. Okay, uh, so we've got another couple of Gallimimus in the incubation chamber. They're happy to sit in the main enclosure. Uh, I just want to do a quick check to make sure I haven't upset anyone inadvertently. Uh, oh, my Chasmosaurus. Right, Chasmosaurus do not like excessive population. This is interesting. Right, so I do have a Chasmosaurus. Right, what I'm going to do, a bit of a cheat, um, is I'm going to... Uh, if I can remember what they're called. Ringo and John. And George. Um, sorry, guys. Right, what's your... Minimum social is three. Okay, so what we're going to do, because uh, for some reason it says incubate and release, so I'm going to have to create new ones. So Ringo and George, uh, I hope you enjoy no your new um, enclosures, because you're going elsewhere. Uh, to really prove yourself. Prevent your power outages. That seems reasonable. Uh, what else we got? Uh, okay. So our ACU team's coming in to tranquilize them, uh, which is good. And once they have tranquilize them uh, we will sell them basically seems mean but you know that's what we need to do uh, I actually want to add an additional task to the ACU which is to find the other one of the beetles so where are you John because what we'll do is we'll move John into the other enclosure. Um, should stop him from complaining too much. Alright. So transport team. George. Sell. Thank you. Uh, other one. Where are you? Ringo. Sell. Okay. And the final one. If we can get him, there's John, who gets moved into this enclosure. You like it here. Alright, meanwhile we'll release our remaining Gallimimus. There you go. And get the other one out. And then the next ones we need to pop in are the Chasmosaurus. So incubate dinosaur, where are you? Chasmosaurus, incubate. And what we're going to have to do with these immediately is basically tranquilize them and move them into the new enclosure. And another Chasmosaurus. Okay, once those two are released, we'll be in a good place. Uh, let's just verify everyone else is okay. Uh, Gallant Mimus are all okay. Yeah, no more complaints. Now I need to get moving relatively quickly because the problem with Chasmosaurus is they need three for their social group. Uh, otherwise they get really grumpy. And again, these, these things are built like tanks. So you don't really want grumpy dinosaurs. Um, Let's hope we can get this sorted. Let's see how quickly our Chasmosaurus is doing. Uh, not quickly enough. It's a shame. So thinking about that, uh, if I was to do that again, I would probably sell the Chasmosaurus off. Uh, or would I? Hmm. 
because I'd need two new Chasmosaurus. So would I just create two Chasmosaurus, then sell off the other ones, and then transport all three, then do the Gallimimus? Probably the best way of doing it. Reduces the chance of them going nuts, which, let's face it, this one is going to. Uh, although it does take a long time for the comfort to go down, so hopefully I'll have enough time to get these out, get them tranquilized, get them moved into the other enclosure, um, before he goes on a rampage and my guests start complaining. Not necessarily the uh, the best way to market a park. Although, thrills and spills, it'll be the f run of your life. Yeah, there'll be some people who want to do that. 